everybody welcome to my channel um i guess i should start this off with a brief introduction this is uh, my name is Sade renee i am a self-published author and i have decided to do youtube why not start my channel off with um a tag the meet the writer author tube newbie tag so stay tuned so the first question is how did you find out about author tube um so I literally just found out about AuthorTube probably three weeks ago um, from Jenna the Dark One. Yeah, Jenna the Dark One, and I will add her description in the box below. Not about the Facebook group, and I joined the Facebook group, and then I, I literally recently just started filming the videos for a giant AuthorTube collaboration. The question is, what genres do you write in? I typically write in... Um, the urban fiction street fiction genre my first two books and there's gonna be a third is a street fiction story following a girl who falls in love with a bad boy or a thug as they so call it um, but I am currently plotting out the details for a romance story whether it's gonna be erotica I don't think so but it's it's definitely gonna be a, a nice uh, passionate romance story and then I also I'm currently working on a paranormal fantasy that I am stupid excited about. I have been working on this for a little over a year. I am literally flushing out a lot of the, the history in the story, the historical facts of the story and the character. Um, but it's, it's going to be epic. It's going to be amazing. What is your preferred writing tense, point of view, and category of story? I naturally gravitate towards past, but present is my current, you know, tense of choice in pretty much all the stories that I've written, that I've written to publish there. They're all present tense. Um, my favorite point of view, um, my p favorite point of view would be third person point of view, but, um, I've started, uh, what do you call it? Experimenting with first person and I actually like how first person flows for my for my um for my first book series that I published the first book I wrote in third person but I also wrote that years ago so it was pretty easy for me but when I tried to write the second book I I just couldn't get through the story in in third person so I switched to first person and it flowed a lot better and the funny thing about that is my editor he knew at the time asked me have you considered writing this in first person and I didn't so I left it as it is but the second book and the third book will be in first person um my paranormal story seems like it would be told better in either form actually I started writing it in first person and then I started you know plotting out the details in third person and either one of those ways you know those POVs work for this particular story and for the romance it's most likely going to be in third person are you a plotter, pantser, or planter? And I am a planter. I originally started off as a pantser, but um, with my second book that is published now, I couldn't I couldn't get through the story without a plot, without an outline. So I started outlining, um, leaving room for me to pants. So I am now a planter. I um, have outlined several stories, and I feel like I can. I can write some, some some meaty stories now because I have, you know, a basic outline to follow and then, you know, pants my way through the rest of it. Are you a self-published, published, or yet-to-be-published author? I am self-published. Um, I self-published my very first book, May 2015, in honor of my uncle who's been passed away for many years he would have wanted me to to follow my dreams so I released my first book on his birthday in 2015 um, and yeah so I've done two books in I've published one book a year so far which means I in order to keep to that trend I need to publish a book this year but I have yet to finish one <laughs> no. what publishing company literary agency or printing company are you represented by or use if you're not published so because I'm self-published I represent myself and the name of my publisher company is elude books um, and so that was simple um, yeah but I do use create space to print my books so yeah what is your dream publishing house or agent 
So I don't have a dream agent. I don't know much about, you know, getting an agent. I tried to get an agent when I was in high school. You know, I got several rejections and I kind of just left that alone. Um, but, you know, as I've, you know, grown in my, in my field and started writing more stories, I think if I was to go the traditional route, I would want to be picked up by HarperCollins. Love, you know, the books that they've adapted to movies and TV shows. And of course, what writers go is it not to have one of their stories adapted into a movie. So, yes. What AuthorTube related videos can we expect to find on your channel? So let's see. Um, you can expect to see, you know, you know several different things I format books you know free I freelance format for myself obviously and then you know for other authors so maybe some tips on formatting maybe some tips on you know things that I've dealt with on pro writing productivity you know all just 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 basically you know maybe some author tags some collaborations some vlogs maybe some write-ins maybe even some you know tips and advice around writing and the and the and the subject of writing productivity you know grammar things like that when did you start writing oh i started writing a long 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 time ago um i was in, in 2000 yeah that's when i started writing 2000 um well I've, i mean i've written stories before but to like really take it serious and really fall in love with the craft. I was 12 years old and I'm 29 now, so long time. What was the first story you ever wrote? Uh, the first story I ever wrote um, was a story, a story that followed a girl who was forced to move from living with her mom to living with a dad she never knew, she never met, never heard of, and was forced to live with him in a different city where she knew no one. And of course she was a teenager because I was a freshman in high school when I wrote this story so she you know moved in with this man and had to adapt you know had to adapt with living with somebody she didn't know and you know she kind of finds these new friends who helps her adjust into her new life and it just the rest of the story kind of just follows them through you know regular teenage drama with you know not knowing her dad boy crushes school homework fashion girl beef things like that um it was a typical teenage story and it followed me <laughs> my three friends and our love for the band b2k they were our boyfriends in the book just just putting that out there what authors have inspired your writing the most so i've had several different several different authors for different things um so when i was writing urban fiction i was inspired by the classics by you know, Nikki Turner, Deja Joy King, Tracy Brown, Keisha Irving, Vicki Stringer, you know, Sister Soja. Um, the list goes on for that genre. When I started writing romance, which I haven't really written romance yet, and I haven't actually started reading a lot of romance stories yet. Yet. I have like 30 of them on my Kindle that I need to get through. Um, so I have a list of authors that I that I am hoping will inspire my, my romance writing and they are self-published authors that will be um, you know Kale Montgomery, uh, Phoebe Alexander, there is a young lady that I have had the pleasure of working with several times her name is Sabrina Sambles she writes some um, some thriller romances I cannot wait to read some of her stories um, there's quite a few people uh, so yeah those are the people who have influenced me at different points. You know, the urban fiction authors were in my past. Um, I'm inspired by new writers now today. I don't read as much urban fiction as I used to, but um, particularly now in the romance field and the, the paranormal fantasy space, the, the, the indie authors are the ones that I, that I listed, are the ones that I wanted to, to use as inspiration, so yeah. Do you schedule your writing sessions or simply get to writing whenever you can find the time. So I'm more in the latter part of this question. Um, I do try to schedule my writing sessions, but it's usually only scheduled when I when I know I have a, a break in schedule. Um, during NaNoWriMo, I made writing a part of my everyday so that I can get the 50,000 words. But on a regular day, it's impossible for me to write every day because I do so much. You type on a computer, a typewriter, write by hand, 
or blend of or a blend of all of those and what do you and where do you write in general so I usually write my stories by hand first and then I type them up on the computer um, I don't think I will be able to use a typewriter only because I usually don't like what I write so then I go back and take it out and I would hate to use some white out and then do the scroll and then go over it again that I just feel like that would be a lot of extra work but I generally write it out by hand and then type it up via the computer um, and I generally write anywhere in my car at work at home at, in the airport at my friend's house at my mom's house anywhere and if I have a moment to write I will pull out a pad and write or I will pull out my notes on my phone and write uh, my last question is what are you most looking forward to now that you are a part of AuthorTube so what I look forward to the most is number one getting more comfortable on these videos I'm sure you can see that I've stumbled a lot um, number two to just be a part of a community I have you know I've put myself into a position where I've met several different authors in the indie space I've connected with them I would and I can honestly say that I've made some friends in the indie space um, but I would like to be able to make that those same you know those same connections on the on the internet space via YouTube I would like to you know I would like to you know grow a following that can follow me throughout my career a, grow a following that I can actually learn from um, I would love to connect with some of my favorite youtubers um, in the author tube space and in the booktube space I would yeah I would like to 